Okay, so this uh, video is part two, uh, I guess, of a video series that deals with arithmetic and geometric series. In the, in the first part, we looked at sigma notation and just what a series is. In the second part, we're going to focus on arithmetic series. So an arithmetic series is just an, an arithmetic sequence with plus signs. So the simplest arithmetic series uh, involves adding up the numbers 1 through 100 inclusive. Um, this actually, there's a legend that uh, Friedrich, Carl Friedrich Gauss, who was a uh, kind of a famous mathematician a couple hundred years ago, um, he was given this problem in what would have been middle school and kind of a, as a punishment. And he quickly came up with the answer. Uh, of course, no calculators. He quickly came up with the answer of 50 50. Um, like within a matter of, uh, you know, 20 seconds or so. And how did he do it? Well, he didn't add them in order. He added the first and the last number and happened to get 101. He added the second number and the 99th number and got 101. And I think you see what's going to happen here, right? If you 3 and 98 is 101. And you're just going to get a, a whole bunch of 101s. In fact, you're going to get 50 of those, if you think about it, because uh, 100 numbers, when you pair them up two at a time, there's 50 pairs. So uh, you get 101 times 50, which, of course, is 50-50. You know, well, what did Gauss do? Let's, let's look at this. He, you know, abstractly, he looked at this as the first term. He looked at this as the last term or the nth term. And he realized there were 100 terms where the number of terms were uh, half of n or n over 2. Right? And he thought, hey, well, you know, where'd he get, where'd he get the 101? He added up the first term and the last term. Right, and he multiplied by 50. Well, what was that? That was n over 2. So he multiplied by n over 2. And that's where we get this formula for the, the sum of an arithmetic series. Right? Add up the first and the last and then multiply that by the number of terms and divide by 2. So we really, without realizing it, we kind of proved that theorem for the sum of an arithmetic uh, series. Right? right there. Okay, so if we look at number five, first of all, it's arithmetic because the argument there is linear, that 3n minus 4. Um, in fact, you know, I, my suggestion sometimes is go ahead and write out the first couple terms, right? So if you plug in 1, uh, you'll get negative 1. Plug in 2, you'll get 2. And then if you add three more, you get five. And this keeps going. And then the 15th term uh, will be three times 15 is 45 minus four is 41. Right? So if I want to add those up, and it, to be honest, you could actually write out all 15 numbers and add them up, and that wouldn't take too long, but... Let's use the formula as long as we have it, right? Uh, here we have 15 terms. Uh, the first term is negative 1. The last term is 41. And we'll divide that by 2. And if I put that in the calculator, that gives me 300. So it's a quick way to add up an arithmetic series, right? Of course, it presupposes I know the first term, the last term, and the number of terms, right? Those are the three things you need to add up in arithmetic series. Uh, let's look up this, uh, look at the next one here, right? If you look at it, I'm adding four, adding four, adding four. That's called the common difference. Same terminology as an arithmetic sequence. The problem is I don't know the 50th term now, to be honest, it wouldn't take you long to figure out what the 50th term was, but um, we might as well derive uh, the second formula over here. I guess I'll highlight it in a different color. I'll highlight it in green. This is just an alternative form for an arithmetic series, and it, it just 
spins off of the first uh, formula. So let's do a quick proof below. I know, you're thrilled we're doing a proof, right? So if you look at uh, Gauss's uh, formula for the sum of an arithmetic series, you know, one of the things we learned um, with sequences is we can rewrite the nth term. The nth term of an arithmetic series is the first term plus the common difference times n minus 1. So what we can do is we can, uh, we can take this and plug it in for a sub n, right, just by using substitution. So if we do that, the, the nth partial sum, or the sum of a arithmetic series, we'll just rewrite this and do a little algebra. In place of a sub n, I'm going to rewrite a sub 1 plus the common difference times n minus 1. And don't forget, all that's over 2. And I can just collect some terms here, right? I got uh, a sub 1 and a sub 1. I got two of those, right? And I still have this common difference times n minus 1, and it's still over 2, right? So that's where I get that alternative form, and you see it up here. Um, I have it highlighted in green up above and on, on your worksheet. So let's plug into it. You know, I want to get the sum of the first 50 terms. By the way, that's called the 50th partial sum. You know, you could stop anywhere in a series and add up the terms. So uh, let's plug in. N is 50, right? I'm doubling the first term, so I'm doubling 3. I'm taking N minus 1, that's 49, multiplying by the common difference, which is 4. And the whole thing gets divided by 2. Of course, you could jam that in your calculator, and guess what? You happen to get 50-50, uh, similar to the uh, warm-up problem. Okay, I'm going to end the video there, and we'll come back with a third video looking at geometric.